Hello, Lola. So I wanted to, um, I didn't do this at the end of the year, like reflect on the whole year of 2021. I think I did a little bit, but um, I want to say going forward in 2022, my biggest, my, my biggest thing that I want to, you know, be sure not to fall into this like rabbit hole of this thing called comparing. Um, and I, I do this and I think everybody do this. Like, especially if you collect and you paint, you you see things and you think, oh, either I'm better or I'm not as good enough. My thing most of the time is I always feel like I'm not good enough or I'm not as good. Um, and I think what happens is when you start comparing yourself to other people or other things or your work against other stuff, you lose sense of reality or value of your own unique you. Um, each one of us have something that's special about ourselves, something unique, but if we continue to compare ourselves to, you know, what somebody else have, or what we don't have, um, it just brings you down further and further and further. I, I, I believe that anyone can do anything that they want to do. That is true. I also believe that there are some people that have natural talent. Some people work hard at their talent and they become good over time. Some people are self-taught. Some people are actually highly trained and skilled and went to school um, for the, the skills that they possess. Um, rather, it's in the photography part, the art part. Um, I think we all have the ability to paint um it may not be on a high level um <laughs> we all even have the ability to sculpt now the, i did a sculpted video once live on my facebook with some clay and um it it, it, it wasn't working out as well but i think i could sculpt a foot I, I i think i could sculpt a foot i think if i really really tried i could sculpt a foot because i love feet so I think I can sculpt a foot um, if I really, really try, I think. <laughs> but, you know, it's different levels. So you have to keep that in mind. And also, I think that, you know, um, just staying encouraged, you know, trying to, to remain positive and, and, and think good thoughts about yourself, you know. Um, I think we beat ourselves up more than anybody so you know good self positive talks is good um it's good for you for you and for your work so <laughs> so i just just think that some people i won't lie some people probably came out the womb like already an artist and probably their first scribble scribble was amazing like my daughter um I got called into a conference. I'll never forget this. I think she was in the uh, first grade. I got called in for a conference. And when I got there, I was really concerned because she was a child that never got into any trouble or she always had, you know, did well in her classes and stuff like that. So I'm thinking like, why is this teacher calling me in? Um, and she called me and she said, okay, relax, mom. I see the attention on your face. She said, this is not a bad conference. This is a, a good conference. She said, it's just some things that I wanted to point out to you. And she said to me, she said, um, she said, Tamara is an exceptional student. And I don't know if you noticed, but she started whipping out like her paper. She said, she's not drawing stick people. She's drawing like full people, like this is not normal for a first grader. And I thought, oh, I was like, yeah, I, I thought so too. But you know, moms, we tend to think our babies are like amazing, you know, type thing. Like, and really they're doing just the same as everybody else. So I didn't really like know, you know, she was only the second child. So the first one, you know, she talked and spoke and did things early. So this one drawing a little, you know, better than normal to just, you know. And then she said, and, and then she writes. She, um, I think by the time Tamara was in the third grade, one of her teachers was recommending that she write short, uh, 
stories, like books. I'm like, excuse me? She's like, um, she's like, I I think she's she could be a writer. So like she had all these different talents. Um, but anyway, my point is about about the art is like she was naturally there. So I always sent my kids out to different schools in different areas, and so they were in this magnet program, and so I send her off to um I sent her off to uh this other school because the school that they were in they had to make room for this was when everybody started building and the, the, it was just a lot of new developments and new subdivisions popping up in their area and they had they didn't have enough room for the actual local kids so they had to like you know start sending some of the kids back to their regular schools so anyway so i get them into this other little school like it's like a little prep you know magnet school and they do all these different types of art and they they put them in all these different arts each uh each schedule like one they might do art then they might do writing then they might do music then they might do um acting then they might do singing and they see which one they fits best in and that's where they end up putting them for the rest of the year type thing and so at this point i had to move all my kids over there to well the three younger t three younger ones there because the oldest one was already into middle school so she was already going to a whole separate school anyway yeah at one point i had like four kids going to four different schools but anyway so she gets to this school and so at this point i got her brother and her sister there so i find out that tabitha is actually very good at creative writing so she was another one that was a good at writing which i love to write so makes sense okay and then all of a sudden my son they're like he's an amazing sculptor like his work won best in shows and it was displayed at the colleges and all that and stuff and he sculpted this elephant and and then come to find out like he was a better sculptor than the artist one and we never knew any of this about them so there's also people out here that has hidden talent um never gave him clay as a kid or anything like that but he gets in this class and he's like taken off thing about him is that he didn't have the passion for it so he didn't really love art he just had this natural born gift and the teacher begged me to put him into this other school uh, which was an art school um this one was not audition um, my daughter later went on to an audition only school and got into that one but anyway um so i put i put him in there and when i put him in there um he 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 said mom i don't want them telling me what to do like i don't like when they tell me what to do and his sister was telling him like well you gotta learn the certain things and then you can do what you you want to do but he just he just didn't have the passion for it so i tell you guys these stories about my children because i think when I look back at that, I see that happening in the community. There's people out here that paint our dolls that have a natural gift, but they don't really have a passion for it, but they like the money that, that it brings. And then there's people out here that's very passionate about it, that's self-taught, and they just, they love it. And then their work kind of have like a soul to it. Like it just, it feels something, you can feel it through their work. Um, People think I'm crazy when I say like um, people work like uh, Bonnie Brown and Claire Teller and certain ones like that. I feel like they really are passionate about their work. They're 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 emotional sculptors. Um, you can feel it in their artwork. It's weird. Like when you paint their babies, like especially Bonnie Brown. When I pick up one of her sculpts um, and I get ready to paint it, it's almost like the energy that radiates off of the sculpt. And I know that sounds weird and I don't do any type of hocus pocus guys or anything like that, but I'm just saying the, the, the energy that is there. So I feel like there are so many different levels and I mean, you can at least try it once and then you know it's not for you, it's not for you. Um, sometimes we think, oh, this is horrible and then it's not that bad but you get better over time and some people are it's gonna stay the same way because it's really not your gift and not your purpose in life. 
and child just leave it alone no just like <laughs> but if it make you feel good and you enjoy doing it so what keep doing it you know what i mean but um yeah some people it's not going to be their gift it's not going to be your purpose it's not going to be your calling it's not going to be what speaks to you um you may have another um gift in another area um you know so yeah so it but it, I say if you are you curious and you want to do it then do it you know what I mean um people teach classes all the time people ask me what I teach painting like I'm still teaching myself like I don't like I have no set method or way that I do things or anything like that so I, I can't teach anybody and, and nor do I want to to be honest I don't I'm not a good teacher I'm, I'm very impatient and I get very frustrated very quick when I try to show somebody something and um I don't want to show what I do I want to do it myself I want to I want my babies to have my own way to it like if somebody get my doll and they copy it and they're able to copy it and you know duplicate my style then so be it that's on them but I want to have my own style. I don't want to teach everybody my style. I look at these people that teach classes and now I can't tell their work from their students. I don't want to do that. Um, but I, I'm i glad that there's somebody out there that does do it because, I mean, some of you guys really love those classes and feel like you wouldn't be where you're at if it wasn't for the classes that you took. So... I'm happy for people in that way. Does it doesn't make me a mean or bitter person if I don't want to teach? Um, I get that a lot, um, and I get a lot of people that like unfollow me and <laughs> get upset if I say no, t don't want to teach you. Like so, yeah, I I don't, and um, I don't share much of anything when it comes to my painting. Um, but then again, like I said, I don't feel like I'm no master artist to be showing anybody anything. But then again, my grandma said you can learn something from everybody. So, hey, you know, I guess whatever. But I don't feel like I'm at the top of the the food chain to be trying to be like, oh, you want to learn what I do, girl? Let me charge you $800. Like, no, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not there. But um, anyway this video just went all crazy but yeah so I just feel like in 2022 I haven't really set any like new year's resolutions as I never really do the only thing I want to do is be a better me and just work on some of the internal things that I need to work on um feel better about myself feel better about my work continue to enjoy my hobby um, take better care of myself. That's that's probably the biggest thing for me for this year is take better care of myself. I am um, like the matriarch of my family and um, a lot of pressure is put on me. And so, and I'm also, I'm a, I'm a single parent. I'm not married, so I'm a single parent. Um, and um, yeah, so... And I ain't shacking up with nobody or nothing like that. So I have to pay my own bills and pave my own way. So, um, you know, it's a lot. And I, I, you know, I have five kids and uh, four of them are grown. At least I, I like to call them that. <laughs> so they be like, ma, <laughs> like what? As soon as they say, ma, I know they want something. I'm like, oh, I don't even want to reply to the text. Or I don't even want to answer, like, let me hide in a hole because I know they're going to want something. But, um, yeah, and then I have my little one here that's eight. She'll be nine this year. Like, so it's, yeah, so, yeah, that's that's just my whole thing. I, I just, I just want to focus on me and what I'm doing. I don't want to focus on what this community is doing and uproar about this or that. I just want to focus on doing the right thing, doing me, and having fun. I want to have fun. I want to live my life because, you know, tomorrow is never promised. That's not just a saying. It's so true. And so I just want to live my life and uh, enjoy it. And I want to enjoy my dolls. And if they bring me comfort and happiness, so be it. Um, when they don't, they get sold. <laughs> 
and it can be somebody else's joy you know it's like that thing i'm not like i'm not stuck on one sculpt i'm not stuck on one you know artist i i am i'm exploring 2022 i i actually feel pretty content i have like maybe two to three other artists that i would like to see their work in person and have it in my collection but i'm not i'm not really in hot pursuit for it right now i've kind of gave up a little bit on a few of them um the price point is out of my range right now so this year i think i'm gonna just have a very relaxing painting year i think i'm just gonna paint and enjoy painting and um we'll see what happened so i hope you guys got your mindset set you a couple goals oh i'm doing this thing with tabitha and one of her little friends um where we're taking 200 envelopes let me see if i get this right you take 200 envelopes you number them all with even numbers and every day you pull an envelope and whatever number on that envelope is how much money you put in that envelope and i think is in april by April, some date or whatever, I gotta look again. You are able to, you take all the envelopes and you count it up and you should have uh, $10,000 saved or something like that. So it starts on the first. So if you want to start this challenge with me, um, then let me know in the comment section. I will do a specific video, just a short little video clip and do for sure. And then you can go back on the days that you miss and catch up. Um, so hopefully I don't upload this video too far out. Um, but yeah, so I ordered me some envelopes from Amazon and I'm late. So when they come, but for now I'm just sticking it in just, you know, some little envelopes, random envelopes and going like that. Now I thought you do like, you know, two, four, six, eight, you know, 10, 12, go all the way up to 200 and just every day you do $2, $4 and it just keep going up and up and up. But, um, they're saying you pull a random number. So, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to see how this works. I'm going to try it. I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to count it up. I'm not going to add it up. I'm just going to just go with it and see what happens. And you're supposed to have like $10,000 by April. And that would be amazing. So let's, I'm going to do that. Um, anyway, I know my videos seem to be going in a direction that seem like I'm more, I, I feel like I'm being a lot more preachy in my videos. And I'm talking about more things other than just the dolls and just life in general and stuff like that. But I think it's because I suffered such great loss um, over the last couple months and, um, last couple years I've lost lost a lot and um I think it's a lot going on with me in my personal life and my personal growth that I feel like I'm using my platform to just speak on just more than just the dolls so you know if that's not your cup of tea don't worry I will do strictly doll changing videos feeding videos role play Miss Andy all that great jazz will be coming but I do sometimes use my platform just to speak because I, I don't think that I'm the only person that go through stuff. And I think it's a lot of people that may be, you know, home alone and just, you know, work, come home, work, come home, work, don't have time to really socialize or, you know, maybe have a girlfriend here or there. And then, you know, some of us are in, um, you know, toxic friendships and toxic relationships. I'm not saying that I am or am not. I'm just saying you know, speaking in general. And I think that sometimes when you hear other people's stories or different things, or some of us are doubting ourselves and thinking we're not, we're not good enough, or we're not able, or maybe I shouldn't, or maybe I can't, or maybe, you know, maybe I'm, uh, maybe there's someone out that's painting and someone's bashing them and beating them down because they see their potential and they're afraid that they're going to be better than them. So they make them doubt their work all the time. Um, you know, that type scenario happens a lot too. So I just want to share some of my stories and my experiences and maybe it will, you know, resonate with a few people and maybe not, but it is what it is. But anyway, today, today is news been brought to you by <laughs> Miss Serenity Smith Babies with Vegas. <laughs> 
And today Vegas is wearing a, I don't know my colors. That's what he wearing, what y'all see. He got on a, a, is that pewter? Pewter? Or uh, some type of brownish something. And he gonna wear that forever. I like them colors. Matter of fact, it's what got me, it's giving me, I need some wine vibes. And I don't even drink wine. But, ooh, I think I got some. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.